Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor to present our technology, the computer-aided diagnosis using artificial intelligence in digestive endoscopy. I'm the co-founder and the chief scientist of Shanghai Vision AI. Uh, how, how to? Um, it's, uh, I think it's the top button. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Huh. Uh, there has been some breakthroughs in recent years in the uh, computer-aided di diagnosis using artificial intelligence. The most exciting progress has been made in the automatic polyp detections and classification during colonoscopy. Because it, it is quite a challenge to find every column polyp appeared in a colonoscopy uh, due to v various of reasons. As a result, significant adenoma miss rate ranging from 6 to 27% has been reported in the US, but every 1% increase in adenoma detection rate can predict a 3% decrease in the risk of interval colorectal cancer. And as a, the automatic polyp detection system has been believed to increase ADR by serving as an actual set of eyes during colonoscopy. And this idea was described specifically by the Harvard Medical School in 2015. And our first product is is this auto, is a automatic polyp detection in real time. Uh, in 2018, Nature Biomedical Engineering published the large scale uh, validation of our automatic polyp detection system. And because of the high performance, the editorial board and Professor Shinei Kudo have uh, both recommended this study. Later, uh, so in this study, we have both very high uh, sensitive and uh, specificity around 94% uh, and the uh, per polyp detection rate of 100%. Later, uh, in 2019, uh, clinical trial, randomized clinical trial using this real-time automatic polyp detection system was published in GUT. And this trial was said to be the first ever randomized trial using AI to improve advanced diagnostics. Uh, in this trial, because the result of this trial is very encouraging, because the, both the AD, uh, adenoma detection rate and the average number of detected adenoma per, colonos uh, per colonoscopy is uh, significantly increased. Um, as the second product, uh, we, do, uh, we, we developed an, an algorithm for the uh, early detection of uh, isophageal squamous cell carcinoma because squamous, uh, uh, isophageal cancer is common in a certain part of the area. In China, 90% is squamous cell carcinoma. The early detection and the removal en enables uh, um, five years survival rate above 90%, but uh, if detected at an advanced level, uh, the five year survival rate is very poor. We, we also, we use deep learning um, to detect the precancerous lesions and uh, early squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, he, here are some examples. We, we used this thousands of uh, uh, development data sets from uh, hundreds of patients and used the two independent validation data sets to validate the, the perform, uh, performance. And uh, in the data, for the data validation, uh, the, for the image data sets, we get high sensitivity and, and specificity for uh, and uh, uh, AO, AUC of 98.9%. And for the video data sets, um, we got, overall we get high performance. Uh, but for the non-magnifying MBI uh, frames, uh, the sensitivity is still need to be imp further improved. So further in, in work on this, uh, okay. The, uh, uh, thank you. The first product, the automatic polyp detection system, is under the FDA uh, de novo uh, process. And the second um, uh, detect automatic detection for the esophageal cancer is still uh, need to further be developed and validated in a randomized controlled trial. Uh, thank you.